You are not going to believe what I got to do today. There are so many options for my future, so I'm going to look around now while I have the chance. Join me as I explore the world of work. Today, I'm at Family Foot Care my name is Nancy Ancondro. I'm a doctor of podiatric medicine. I am, um, in layman's terms, a foot doctor. Take care of every aspect of the foot, whether it is foot pain or nail care or ankle sprains, fractures, infections. Skills or education would you need to be a podiatrist? Well, for podiatry, you need four years of college then it's four years of podiatric medical school, and then it's usually a two to three year residency in hospitals. This gentleman, Dr. Yudes, started this practice over 45 years ago, and then this is Dr. Rubin who joined him, and they are both retired now, living in Florida half the year, but they were my mentors, and they brought me into the practice 29 years ago. So you guys and have been here for a long time. Yes, this practice has been here over 45 years. Uh, do you guys have any like different locations? Yeah, we actually have six locations. We have three in Orange County and three in Sullivan County. Wow. And there are five partners and one associate. So there's six doctors in total. This is our waiting room for everybody. Waits here until they get called in by the ladies in the front. This is where the patient will come in and they will be uh, asked a few questions by the front desk and then this is where they get discharged after they've been seen. Okay, so here's some more of the products that we carry. We carry some socks and some different things that help people. Okay. Yeah, so pretty much everything you can do. Yeah, pretty much, you're right. It's, we try to make it a little bit easier for the patient so they don't have to all of a sudden go to the pharmacy and try right. to find it. Insurance companies have a program called the Diabetic Shoe Program and if a diabetic is eligible due to certain complications, they are entitled to a pair of shoes, one pair a year, to prevent problems because diabetics can get very bad problems with their feet. Yeah. So we have a sample of some of the shoes that we carry. Okay. Okay, so that's a program that started with first with Medicare and then other insurance companies followed suit. Did you know that people with diabetes can get special pairs of shoes at any podiatrist? I didn't know that. This is our x-ray machine. This is where we take our x-rays. This is a little light where we can see where a um goes right on top of the foot, so when we take the x-rays, we're able to see it. This is where we turn it on, and we use a shield for protection. We always have one for adults, we have some for children. And then, if you're wondering where the x-rays come out, they come over here. I'm going to come over here so we can see. Come right over here. And to acquire the x-rays, we'd pick um, either foot, and they would pop them up right here. So if you okay. want, we can take extra to your feet if you want to. Sure. And do that. Right here. So these are all your bones. 
Wow, so there's a lot of bones in each foot. What does it look like when a bone is broken? So when a bone is broken, you'll see um, a line through here, and it'll look like it's actually chipped. So if you, if you were to break like a toe or whatever um, bone you'd break in your foot, you'd see a, a line right through. I didn't know that podiatrists also work on broken bones. I thought that was just your average doctor that does that. So Dr. Kaplan, when is my foot going to stop growing? Well, it really depends. It could be anywhere from, in boys, usually a little later than girls. Girls are usually somewhere between 11 and 14 years old. Boys more between 13, 16, or 17 years old, but it really varies. The only way we can see is if we take an x-ray of your foot, we can look at the growth plates in your foot to see what's going on with them. That's how we can determine when your foot's going to stop growing. Oh, there's your growth plates, you see? Growth plates. That growth look place. like they look like they're breaks in the bone. So that means you're still the... growing, right? Let me look here. You didn't take a lateral. Yeah, they didn't grow up, but yeah, that one's all. That means you moved. You see how it's all fuzzy there? Mm -hmm. it means you moved. But he's definitely still growing. You still got a lot of growing to do. I did not know that there is a growth plate in my foot. The only kind of plates that I know about are the plates that I eat on. I am totally going to ask this question. If you could give your 11-year-old self advice or words of wisdom to prepare yourself for the world of work, what would it be? Uh, that's a really good question, Aiden. I think what I would actually tell myself that I should have prepared better, um, have better study habits than I did back then and be more dedicated because I knew very early on what I wanted to do. So I think I would have to tell myself to be more uh, consistent with my studying and studying with different habits and improve my, my study habits.